everyone welcome to today's class today we'll be doing our crosset um, blouse so this is my half length which i have here now that is from top of my bust to my waistline so the first thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be measuring from top of my bust to under my bust which is six inches then i'm going to add half inch to it that is six and a half i'll be marking so i'm going to draw this as a straight line so this is from top of boss to under boss <clears throat> which is this line all right So the next thing I'm going to do now is from top of bust to my nipple point, which I'll be marking about four inches. I'll also draw it as a straight line. So this is top of boss line and this is to my under boss line and here is going to be my waistline. So first of all, I'm going to be dividing my measurement into four. I first of all take my arm O. So I have 12 here which is the wideness of my fabric. Please I fold with my boss which is the largest part of my body. 12 divided into 2 is going to give us 6 plus 1 inches, that is um, 7. That will be the wideness of the neck for the front. And then I'm going to take my arm all 2 inches down. So I'll be marking 2 inches down. This is at the side. So I will connect these two inches to my arm O. So yes, for my arm O, this is the folded part, which is the middle side. So whatever you are working for has to go for the separated part. All right, so you have to divide your balls into four plus two inch seam allowance. My boss is 35. Divide into four plus two inch seam allowance so this is about let's just say nine inches plus two inches that's eleven for the wideness of my boss and then you're also going to do for your waist too my waist is 28 that is um sorry 29 which is seven and a half plus two inches that's almost 10 so let's mark 10 here so I will shaping this together. All right. So after this, now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to take one and a half inches in from my side, which is going to be the space. So I'll be marking this all down. So this is one and a half inches space. So for my cutting, I'll be needing my cup bra. I will just place it. This is one and a half. So this is my nipple line. And this is my under bust. So you make sure that this cup bra stops at under bust. Like this. But make sure it gets to the edge. So. It's going to be like this. But you can leave it straight. You can also slant it. I prefer to slant it like this. Because I feel it looks more nice. Now when I'm slanting it, I make sure that this 
point of my cup is like that. So you can try to slant it a little bit. You can try to leave it straight like this. But make sure it stops at under the bust line. And it should get to this your middle line. So it should be like this. Or you slant like this. Depends on how you want it. You can leave it straight if you want. You can slant it. I prefer the slanting because I feel it comes out more. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use my shot to trace this curve and draw this shape out. So I'll be slanting it to my arm O. So you remove this. Now what I just need to do is to cut it according to the shape. So I'll go like this now. Please, I will not cut it exactly this shape because I have to sew it back. I will just come up a little like a quarter inch away from the line. And then to my arm hole. So this is out. And then I'm going to shape in this side. Remember, we we'll have to trim this out of it. All right, so this is it. Sorry, I mistakenly cut here. So I'll open this now. So you can see by the time I fix my cup. So the next part will come when we're about to sew it. So remember, this is Frank Brown class. See you on how to cut the back on our next class. Thank you very much for staying with me. Bye.